Welcome back on the program. Well, still talking about the grassroots uh, development uh, in Nigeria, the issues at uh, this time. I still have with me in the studio Executive Chairman uh, Isola Local Council Development Area. I'm talking about Honorable Samsudin or Lale. Many thanks for staying tuned. All right, uh, back to the issue of um, development in the local government. We have the case of Zanfara, uh, Ogun, Imo and some other states where oh, yo. Oh, yo, and where the local government chairmen and councillors are told to not come to office anymore that uh, they are no more uh, reliable to their administration these are coming from the governors of the states well i i have a perfect understanding that the constitution is clear on uh local government administration in the country the Constitution guaranteed the existence of local governments as an arm of government. Mm. And uh, it has been said, and I want to agree to, that no arm of government has the power to truncate uh, the tenure or the life of any uh, elected arm of the other. Okay. The federal government cannot just wake up one day and say a state apparatus is no more. And I want to believe that is the same position regarding the uh, powers and authority of the state mm. over local governments. Of course, we believe that the states are to, to pretend over local government. That is the position of the constitution. But when it comes to exterminating lives of uh, one by the other, I'm yet to see where such powers are drawn. Uh, are what, we, you, are we, okay. what, what you find mm. is that most of the states may not have a democratically elected government in place. How do you mean? Some of these people may be appointed council administrators. You find caretaker committees here, you find sole administrators there. So they they are not democratically elected. Elected in some of the cases. Where they are not uh, democratically elected, they, are, they become direct appendage of the person who appointed them. Okay. So, a new governor coming in may not find convenience in continued stay of the people appointed by his own predecessor. So, in that scenario, I won't blame a governor coming in and dismantling the political structure. You know, it's a political structure in place. So, uh, if I were to be a new governor just coming into the Sadhu, definitely I'll have a set of people that I'll find suitable to work with me. But when it becomes a case of democratically elected uh, officials, I think okay. there is need to exercise restraints and allow the the, the, the constitution to prevail. Honorable Samsudin Olale, uh, talking about developments in your own local government uh, development area, talking about is solo. Uh, can you pick points, uh, some of the developments under your own administration that has taken place in this area? Uh, well, we are busy day and night we have ensured that our own council is a service center service we, center in what sense yes we discharge services to people of the solo lcd and uh, what are these services they want good roads yes uh, roads come in three categories federal government roads state roads and local roads yes we collaborate with the state to ensure that our major roads are smooth. How do we do collaboration? Most of the times when roads are 
when major roads are not smooth, when, when the portals develop, we bring the attention of the uh, constant agency to it to come forward and do the necessary repairs. But when we find that these repairs are not uh, okay. forthcoming, we move in there and uh, do palliative to put at, uh, to put the the, uh, the condition of the road smooth for people to use. That is intervening in the work of the the responsibilities of the state government. In our own area too, like I said, it's uh, a dunning tax mm. to get all roads about 600, 600 of them smooth for people to drive and people to walk is a daunting task. We don't have the resources to, but be that as it may, we have embarked on what we call legacy projects. We have picked roads 